Sunday morning, Sarah had already left her church, and the rest of us that were going in the second vehicle, Jonathan came down to check the horses, and he called up to the house and asked if we could come down and help him put Shiloh back in, our big horse. And David and I came down, and Shiloh was very easy to get back in the field. The gate was open, which we never used that gate. Joy was racing frantically around this paddock here. She was locked in here. And the night before, all three horses had been in the field grazing. Nobody was I said, where's the baby? And we looked all over the field. We came up to the stalls, the paddock. She was and I thought, oh no, I just knew instantly that somebody had taken her. It was just, I spent several hours in the afternoon driving around the neighborhood, calling for her, trying to see if I could she could hear me or somewhere locally maybe. And I, I talked to some neighbors, um, let them know what was going on. And then I was just so exhausted, I just came home and just crashed for the rest of the day. I was just like, I felt so hopeless, like there is no way we're gonna find I didn't even know anything about Stolen Horses International. I um, got on Stolen Horses International and that posse, and I uh, got hooked up with um, Debbie and she was amazing, and we've got Pixie back. So. Yes, yeah, all that publicity was amazing. Everywhere I went, people said, we saw you, we saw you, we saw you about the horse. We got emails, we, it was everywhere. It was all over Facebook, and oh, it was just phenomenal how much coverage there was, and that was definitely what helped us.